Greeting to all. Today I'm going to discuss the mapping tool, self-supervised large-scale LiDAR map optimization, our most recent LiDAR map optimization project, focused mainly on large-scale environments. Chao Chen, Xinhao Liu, Yimin Li, Li Ding, and Professor Chen Feng are the main authors of this work. LiDAR mapping is critical but difficult in mobile robotics and self-driving cars. The issue of registering various pre-collected point clouds into a single global map is what we seek to resolve. It's like piecing together a series of puzzles, aligning emerging pieces of point clouds to create an accurate representation of the environment. We present our work, The Mapping 2, utilizing neural networks as mapping optimizer. By incorporating original demapping mapping with two novel techniques, batch organization and the consistency loss, the mapping 2 achieves SOTA mapping performance in large-scale environments. Traditional LiDAR SLAM is widely used method for simultaneous localization mapping using LiDAR sensors. It involves processing raw LiDAR data to extract meaningful information and using algorithms like LIGOLOM, LIOLOM, and LAYLOM to align consecutive point clouds and create a real-time map of the environment. However, it is important to note that traditional LiDAR SLAM often requires tuning multiple hyperparameters. Then it brings our attention to learning-based mapping approaches. Let's explore two main types. The first type is train then test approach. In this approach, LiDAR SLAM methods are trained and on specific data set and inferencing another. However, they often face challenges with generalization to new unseen data. The second type is train as optimization approach. Accepted by demapping, it utilizes neural network as a mapping optimizer, eliminating the need for distinct training and testing sets. By replacing regression technique with binary classification to optimize the map, this novel approach enhances the accuracy and efficiency of mapping process in LiDAR SLAM. The original demapping pipeline composes of two components, Global Post Estimation Network, LNET, and Global Post Refinement Network, MNET. LNET is responsible for performing a rough estimation of global posts. It utilizes multi-layer perception to estimate the po robot's position and orientation in global coordinate system. Also, MNET plays a critical role in the pipeline by refining the rough estimated global post. It employs local-to-global point consistent loss to enhance the accuracy and precision of the post estimation process. The original demapping loss consists of two components. On the left side, we use the chamfer loss to constrain the alignment between two consecutive frames in the global space. The loss ensures relative accurate and consistent estimation of the robot posts. On the right side, we employ a classification loss to refine the estimate post. This is achieved by measuring the sum of binary cross entropy for each sample points in the global space. However, the original demapping paper had three major flaws that prevent adaptation in large scale setting, including First, no explicit loop closure, where demapping lacks an explicit loop closure mechanism and relies on gradual optimization of LNET using temporal neighbors within each mini-batch, with MNET controlling the global map consistency. However, this incremental registration approach is prone to drifting, especially with a large number of frames. Second, no local registration. Demapping only utilizes it for post-initialization based on ICP, but not in the optimization process. This limitation arises from the scarcity of point correspondence in LiDAR point clouds. Due to the sparse sensor resolution and long-range sensing, it is uncommon for the same 3D point to appear again in another scan. Third, the low convergence in global registration. LNET regresses a single frame of point cloud into a global post, which is supervised only by the MNET and BC loss. Unlike peer-wise registration, this global registration lacks enough reinforced cues to output correct poses, thus leading to the slow convergence when the dataset is large. In conclusion, the original demapping method, even when using the original toy dataset with 1024 frames, fails to converge in large-scale environments, as demonstrated. This is our demapping 2 pipeline containing original demapping architecture, including both LNET and MNET. Initially, a series of point clouds can be used as the system's input. We can create a map topology using any off-the-shelf place recognition technique and use it to organize the batch. To tackle the absence of explicit loop closure in deep mapping, the proposed solution involves utilizing spatial topology to construct batches, thereby incorporating implicit loop closure. Each batch is composed of a frame and its spatial neighbors, ensuring better contextual information. Furthermore, the study compares different batch organization techniques, such as temporal organization and random organization. The finding demonstrates that Batch organization based on spatial topology yields superior result compared to other methods. For each batch, the transformation between each frame and its neighboring frame is computed using the interrated closed point algorithm ICP. This process enables an accurate alignment of frames within the batch. After computing all of those, the preprocessing stage is complete. The training step is almost identical to original demapping, except a very important loss, consistent loss, is added.
To address the issue of no local registration and slow convergence in global registration, we introduced the local to global point consistency laws in our approach. This loss measures the consistency between different versions of global coordinate of each point in the anchor frame, obtained from different batches. We demonstrate a pool and perfect global registration here. To demonstrate the optimization capabilities, we show training animation and demonstrate ATEs for two KD sequences. The animation show that the network converges quickly to the optimal state. Note that the color bar indicates the frame indexes. We conducted similar tests on the NCLT and Nebula datasets. However, it is important to note that we did not provide ATEs for the Nebula dataset. This decision was made due to the high-level noise present in the kinetic odometry provided by the Nebula datasets. Fortunately, the mapping is capable of more optimizing the pose estimated by the kinetic odometry, allowing us to overcome the challenges posed by the noise odometry and obtain more accurate results. Quantitative result of our deep mapping two approaches on the KD and the NCLT dataset is shown below. The result demonstrates that the adaptability of deep mapping two to different type of initializing methods. We observed that our method achieved the best result among a compared baselines. Notably, the level of improvement varies depend on the specific initialization methods used. In this slide, we present the result of our application study conducted on the KD dataset. We systematically evaluate the impact of three key components, original demapping loss, batch organization, and consistent loss. We start by showing case the result achieved using the original demapping approach. This serves as the baseline for comparison. Next, we introduce the incorporation of batch organization and highlight the significant improvements it provides in mapping accuracy compared to the original demapping. We further investigate the addition of consistent loss offers some improvement compared to the baselines. It is important to note that without the original demapping loss, the network fails to converge. This emphasizes the critical role played by the original demapping design. Finally, we present the result obtained by accompanying all three components, original deep mapping loss, batch organization, and consistent loss. This integrated approach yields the best absolute trajectory error ATE results, underscoring the significance of this component working together. In conclusion, our research has demonstrated the remarkable advancement in mapping technique for point cloud slam. First, we have successfully achieved SOTA mapping performance in large-scale scenes. Second, the introduction of batch organization by spatial topology has significantly enhanced our mapping capabilities by incorporating its implicit loop closure. Furthermore, the implementation of consistent loss has played a critical role in speeding up the convergence of our mapping process. This loss function ensures a great consistency between different versions of anchor frames, resulting in faster and more reliable convergence. Lastly, the current pipeline can be used as a generic learning-based map optimization method in the back end of almost any point cloud SLAM methods. I also attached two main first authors' contact on the project webpage. If you have any questions, feel free to send us emails. Thank you.